Today I'm going to be lip swatching and comparing all of Lisa Eldridge's berry toned lipsticks. So I have six more traditionally berry toned lipsticks to lip swatch for you and then two extras that I decided to throw into this category as well. We have a range across all of her lipstick formula so we've got a couple of her luxuriously loosens, a number of her true velvets, and a couple of her insanely saturated shades as well. So if you'd like to see me lip swatch and and compare all of Lisa Eldridge's berry toned lipsticks. Just keep on watching. So here I have all of the shades arm swatched. Starting at the top is Painterly, then Night Thoughts, which is what I have on my lips right now. Then we have Velvet Blush Lightly, Velvet Blush, Velvet Myth, Velvet Midnight, New Wave, and Strawberry Shock. So as you can see, New Wave and Strawberry Shock are kind of outliers. They're not traditional berry shades but I wanted to include them because they've come out since I've done my other Lisa Eldridge color grouping videos and I wanted to be able to include them. And they're kind of berry adjacent. So you can see that New Wave has some berry in it, but it's more like a fluorescent berry. It's like a neon version of a berry. And then Strawberry Shock, well, it has berry right in the name. So I thought I'd include it here too. I wanna to focus mainly on these more traditional berry tones here. So hopefully you can really see 
the differences in these shades by looking at them all next to one another. My personal favorites are Painterly, Velvet Blush Lightly, and Velvet Myth. I just find that those are the three that are the easiest for me to wear. They suit me the best. And I think that's probably because they have a little bit more warmth than some of the other shades. Painterly is just a great color, really for every day, I find, especially in the fall. It is a bit deeper than my normal go-to for every day. I usually go for Kitten Mischief on a daily basis. It just works for me all the time with pretty much any look. But if I want a little bit more of that berry kind of vampy feel, I will definitely go for Painterly. It's a perfect kind of brownish berry, so it's not going to be too overwhelming, not too cool, not too warm really easy to wear, but it still adds something really special and really perfect for fall. Night Thoughts, you can see a little bit more of that cool purpley quality in that one. Velvet Blush, I find it's definitely darker than Blush Lightly, but it is also a little bit, again, cooler, a little bit more purpley, even maybe a little bit more muted, like there's a little bit more gray in that one. While Velvet Blush Lightly, I find, just has a little bit more life to it, a little bit more pinkiness, perhaps, rosiness. Velvet Myth is like the perfect cranberry shade. So it's kind of a neutral because I can see both warmth and coolness in it, but it's just a shade that is super flattering, I think, on so many people, and I really like the way that it looks on me. So that's a big favorite. And then Velvet Midnight is very similar to Night Thoughts just in a different formula, maybe even a little bit more gray, purpley in that one, but it's definitely a more opaque finish as well because of the formula. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I think this was the last of my Lisa Eldridge lipstick color grouping videos I had on my list to do. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I always love to see those. If you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd love for you to do so. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.